Hello YouTubers! Among 21700 lithium-ion cells, I've already tested 5000 million power rated LG M50 and 4800 mAh power rated Samsung 48G. And today I'm going to show you the results of Samsung 50E. Its index may make you think it's a 5000 million power cell, but there is just the minimum capacity of 4900 million powers mentioned in its datasheet. So it's up to you whether to call it a 5000 or 4900 million power cell. I've tested it at discharge rates up to 10 amps, but before passing to the results, I'd like to introduce my testing stand and rules. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle, a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The Samsung 50E cell which I've got has the following marking. INR21700 50E Samsung SDI 2i75. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Capacity 4900 million powers, nominal voltage 3.6 volts, standard charge current 2.45 amps, charge cutoff current 98 milliamps, maximum charge current 4.9 amps, charge end voltage 4.2 volts, maximum continuous discharge current 9.8 amps, discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts, AC impedance 35 milliohms, maximum weight 69 grams. The measured weight of my cell was 68.8 grams. At 0.2C or 0.98 amps, Samsung INR21750E gave out 4964 milliamp hours or 17.96 watt hours. At 2 amp discharge rate, the result was 4871 milliamp hours or 17.47 watt hours. At 5 amps, 4808 milliamp hours or 16.50 watt hours. At 8 amp discharge rate, the result was 4768 milliamp hours or 15.89 watt hours. At 10 amps, 4742 milliamp hours or 15.53 watt hours. The results of the test showed that 50E is a good 4900 milliamp hour cell, but not a 5000 milliamp hour one. Even at 10 amp discharge, its result was above 4700 milliamp hours. That's all for this time. Don't forget to like this video if you find it interesting and useful. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell next to the subscribe button to not miss the future videos. See you guys!